UFC 146 on May 26th, Frank Mir will be taking on Junior Dos Santos for the UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Both guys are going to be throwing ridiculous power. Both guys are as good as it gets. Dos Santos is staying up. One of the things that Junior Dos Santos is so excellent at is imposing his game. That right hand is vicious. His game is keep the fight on the feet, use arguably the best boxing in the heavyweight division to knock his opponents out. He's a big right hand by Junior Dos Santos. My dream was to become champion, and now I'm the champion. This was the most important fight of your life, and you had an absolutely perfect result. Well, now I want to break records, keep this belt for a long, long time. You look at his fights over and over again. Junior Dos Santos has a very clear game plan, and even though that game plan has been laid out on the table, no one's been able to solve it. But make no mistake about it, Frank Mir has some of the most devastating submissions in the history of the heavyweight division. I feel very comfortable with the fact that if I grab onto something, no matter who it is, if I lock my hands, I can finish it. There's a grudge match aspect to this fight as well, considering the fact that Junior Dos Santos has a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu brown belt under the great Minotauro Nogueira, who is the guy that Frank Mir last defeated, and didn't just defeat, but defeated him by submission. Now I'm the first person to knock him out, and the first person in all the Brazil to submit him. Submission of the century, Frank Mir. Noguera is a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, probably the best submission heavyweight of all time. You, you know when you get caught in that thing, you, you tap. With Junior Dos Santos, it's very clear what's going to happen. He's going to march forward, and he's going to put knuckles on your face. It's that simple. Junior's game is keep the distance, keep the fight standing, knock the fighter out. Very simple. But so far, no one's been able to do anything about it. He is undefeated in the UFC. I mean, he's faced excellent quality competition, and no one has been able to solve the riddle of Junior Dos Santos' boxing. Dos Santos I prefer to fight on my feet, to use my boxing skills. I have to do the easier way to win the fight. For me, the easier way is looking for the knockout. All the fights start on the feet, so I think it's an advantage for me. I don't think we're going to need five rounds for this fight. No one has been able to stop the heavyweight juggernaut that is the UFC champion, Junior Dos Santos. Junior Dos Santos with another knockout victory! Everything leads to me to being the champion again, and I have a full belief that that is very well within my range and in my abilities. very difficult person to defeat. There is no doubt about it going to be a tremendous amount of confidence in Frank Mir's submission game coming into this fight. And it's all over. Frank Mir's on another level. So Junior's going to know that. Junior's going to be very cautious about any sort of ground exchange. He's a dangerous threat for Junior Dos Santos' heavyweight title. Frank has a deep, deep Three ways to win, knockout, submission, and decision. I feel very confident I'm winning. Oh! And he knocks out Merkel Man, where did that come from? The 
Frank Mir that is fighting on May 26 is unquestionably the most refined and the most evolved Frank Mir we've ever seen inside the octagon. And he is a handle for anyone. He's a good striker. I'm a good striker. So for sure somebody's going to get knocked out. Cain Velasquez versus Antonio Bigfoot Silva is a must-win fight for both fighters, and they're both coming from exactly the same position. There are so many good fighters in the heavyweight division now that a fighter can't afford to lose an important fight like this. It could set them back years and years for a title shot. Cain Velasquez is a storm, a heavyweight who has the cardio of a lightweight. He's really freakish in that regard. I call Kane the Terminator, man. This guy keeps coming at you and will not stop until he finishes you. He lost one fight because of one punch to Junior Dos Santos, and now it's back in line again. I just want to get back in there, you know, I want to get back in the mix, I want to get that belt back. We're going to see a guy that has further strengthened his game. I guarantee you, we are going to see the best Cain Velasquez inside the octagon that we've ever seen. You always want to stay hungry, you always want to keep improving as a fighter. I want to fight the best guys and beat the best guys, so I want to get that title back. And I have to beat Antonio Silva in order to do that. For Cain Velasquez, he would love to jump back in there with a devastating and dominant victory to clearly establish his position as the number one contender. The only thing I think about is what I have to do when I go out there. I'm not thinking about a rematch with Dos Santos. I think when my time comes again, I'll take advantage of it. The Cain Velasquez that we're going to see against Antonio Bigfoot Silva is going to be a demon. He's going to come out guns blazing, full of the desire to prove that he's still the best. On May 26, I will defeat Antonio Silva. In order to become a legend, you have to defeat one. Antonio Bigfoot Silva looked absolutely spectacular in his demolition of Fedor Emelianenko. He controlled him, he mounted him on the ground, smashed him. Bigfoot Silva dominating Fedor Emelianenko. And ultimately stopped him. Wild right hand. Ground and pound attack. Wow! And he's got it right there. Oh. He's a very, very promising young up-and-coming contender. Putting it on. He is stepping up to the big leagues. Antonio can beat any of the heavyweights. This is a huge, huge fight for this young man. My dream, fight UFC. Now I'm so excited to fight and I'm training hard. I'm the best in strike and the best in jiu-jitsu and the best wrestling and I'm going to win. This is a very intense fight. It's a must win and a huge opportunity for both Bigfoot Silva and former champion Cain Velasquez when they enter the octagon. Uh -oh. Uh oh, he got rocked. He's hurt. Wild right hand. Ground and powder. Attack. They're both huge, explosive, powerful monsters, and they can both knock you out. Yeah.